In the first episode of my small bathroom makeover on a budget, I painted this bathtub and the shower surround. In the second episode today, I'm going to show you guys how I spray painted the bathtub and shower fixtures, as well as replacing the faucet handle and the overflow plate in the bathtub. I will link all of the supplies down in the description box, as well as a link to the video of refinishing the bathtub. I had already thoroughly cleaned all of the fixtures before painting the bathtub, but as you can tell, there was still a decent amount of buildup and paint and rust on these that needs to be removed while scuffing up the fixtures as well before actually painting them. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. I decided to use a fine grit steel wool to scuff up the surface to make it adhere to the paint better, as well as to remove any buildup or paint or rust or anything else that's on that fixture that needs to come off before refinishing it. You could also use a fine grit sandpaper to do this. Either one will work. Once I was done scuffing up all of those surfaces, I rinsed all of the residue off and then I removed the handle from the bathtub faucet. Once I had rinsed all of the little flakes from the steel wool and all of the residue off of the fixtures, I went in with a towel and I really thoroughly dried everything off. Since I just got done painting the bathtub and the shower, I want to protect that surface and not get spray paint on it. So before hanging plastic, I took painter's tape and I really carefully outlined all of the fixtures with painter's tape, trying not to leave any gaps where you could see the finish on the bathtub between the tape and the fixture. I spent more time prepping the area and taping the fixtures off than I actually spent painting the fixtures just to make sure that I wouldn't have to go back and touch up the bathtub afterwards. Once I had all of the fixtures taped off, I started hanging a plastic drop cloth. I ripped a hole in the plastic so I could slide the plastic around the shower head, and then I taped the plastic up on the wall and then taped off around the hole that was around the shower head. Then I secured the rest of the drop cloth to the wall above the shower. I covered the rest of the fixtures the same way, just cutting a big enough slit in the plastic to fit it around the fixtures and then taping the plastic off all the way around that fixture. For the handle, I cut a slit the length of the handle and then wrapped it around the inside of the handle, taping the plastic together, covering the entire slit so the paint won't get through. Since I'm using spray paint inside of an enclosed indoor area, I used the same ventilation system that I used when I painted the bathtub. So if you wanna see how I set that system up, you wanna check out the video where I refinished the bathtub, but it's basically just a drop cloth hung in front of the door, and then I have an air vent that is sucking air out of the bathroom and pushing it outside, as well as a ventilator with these cartridges to help protect me from the fumes, and I will link all of that down in the description box. To paint the fixtures, I'm using this Rust-Oleum Universal Paint and Primer 2-in-1. After shaking the can, I tested it out on the drop cloth a couple of times just to make sure that it was spraying well and that it wouldn't leave a bunch of drips or runs once I started painting the fixtures. Then to paint the fixtures, I just did fast sweeping motions, spraying it with a fine mist and trying not to get it on in too thick of a coat so that it doesn't drip or run. I also didn't tape off the shower head for some reason where the spray nozzle is and I tried to just spray the shower head from the sides but I got a little bit of paint on there and I had to wipe it off so I would suggest that you probably tape that off unless you're planning on painting that as well. This paint says that it is a universal paint and primer two-in-one so I decided not to prime my fixtures before 
painting them. I really want to see how well this holds up by itself, but if you're worried about it not sticking, then I would suggest using a metal primer beforehand. But this paint does say that it's supposed to be mint for use on metal as well as several other materials. Since I decided to use the satin nickel finish, it covered pretty well with just one coat by itself since it's just going over a chrome finish. But since I did a thin coat, I'm still gonna need a second coat. And I would say depending on what you're covering and what color you decide to use, you may or may not need two or three coats. Also at this point, I realized that I had a drip coming from the faucet. So I stuffed some paper towels up there to catch the drip while the drain is painted until it dries. Once the first coat was dry, I shook the can and then tested it out on the drop cloth again before going back over with the second coat in the same light sweeping motion that I did the first one. And with that second coat, I could pretty easily tell that that was going to be the last one I was going to need to get that full coverage that I was looking for. With the second coat dry, I started removing the plastic drop cloth and all of the painter's tape. The old shower knob was gross and grimy and wasn't going to come clean, so I ordered a new one to replace it. Earlier in the video, you saw me removing the old handle, and it was as simple as loosening a screw. Attaching the new one is just as easy. I replaced the washer that's inside of this little opening, and then I lined up the new handle and just screwed it into place. Then the little cover that hides the screw just pops right onto the front of that handle. Since we don't need the plug for this bathtub, we had just removed the old equipment that was in here for the drain, and all we need is the overflow plate. To attach the overflow plate, you have this little bracket that just screws into the drain that's behind the bathtub wall, and then the plate screws directly onto that little bracket. I ordered this cover in the satin nickel finish, and I wasn't sure if it was going to match well enough or if I was going to have to paint this as well, but it ended up being a close enough match to the spray paint finish that I just left it as is and attached it. Now obviously if you have a drain that you're replacing and not just an overflow plate, it's a little more complicated than this, so you'll want to search online for a tutorial on how to do that, but this is a really simple project that you can do if you're needing to make upgrades to your bathroom and you want to do it yourself without needing a lot of help. And that's it. Now I've got all of the fixtures refinished and repaired in this bathtub. And between that and the new paint on the tub, it looks brand new. They're not perfect and the fixtures are old, but they look 10 times better. And this bathtub doesn't look embarrassing anymore. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content on this channel and ring that bell for notifications. I've got the rest of this bath bathroom renovation coming in the very near future, and until then, you can watch one of these videos linked right here.